What's up, guys? Pet Man here, Carolina Varsity, taking a look at another game in the South Meg 8. We got Barry going on the road to open conference play at Charlotte Catholic. I think it's going to be a pretty good match of two different styles, obviously. Uh, Barry likes to spread it around four and five wides and uh, throw it around a bit. Uh, quarterback draws, things like that. Catholic, we all know, runs a Delaware wing tee. So if you want a good game to watch, contrasting styles, I think you should go over to Catholic's new stadium and uh, check this game out. It's very nice. Uh, keys to victory for Barry. Um, like I just said, get their athletes in space and find a way to protect up front enough to let them make plays. Uh, Catholic, traditionally, uh, they're, they're strong in the front seven. You know, they're weak in the secondary. But what they'll do up front is they're going to blitz you and they're going to put pressure on you to try to kind of hide those deficiencies in the secondary. And they're going to give you some things. They'll give you short stuff. They don't let, you know, the short stuff become big plays. So, you know, Barry, once they get the ball in space, they can make big plays off of it. They have guys that can, you know, have some uh, wiggle and, uh, you know, take a screen and take it to the house. So for Barry to be in this game and pull the upset, those kind of things are going to have to happen. I don't think they're going to be able to run the ball consistently on Catholic's front, and they know that. Uh, so it's going to be a good chess match between the coaching staffs here on that side of the ball. Um, for Catholic, pound the run right at Barry. Uh, see what they got. See if they can handle it. Um, once you pound it, pound it, pound it, they can set up their play action stuff. They have some nice play action plays off of that uh, Delaware wing T offense they run. And uh, Coach Brodowitz has kind of opened up the passing game a little bit more in his tenure uh, from taking over from Coach Otto a couple years ago. So... Uh, the quarterback, Walton, throws a nice ball. He's very accurate. Um, they got guys, of course, like they always do, they have multiple backs that can catch out the backfield. They have tight ends that can catch well. They'll motion the guy out to the um, outside and, and go against the corner and let that guy make plays. So, you know, for Barry, you got to, if you're in the secondary, you got to have your head on your man. You can't get, get caught up looking in the backfield and all the action they run. Because once you look in the backfield, you're going to have a guy streaking behind you for a touchdown. So, Barry's got to play smart defensively, come up once they know it's a run, make the tackle securely. And, um, you know, play action, you got to be smart. Try to get Catholic in third and long, which is very hard to do. Um, I, I think these two teams are going to be real fired up. Um, Catholic has obviously had two bye weeks already, so I know they're anxious to play. Barry's anxious to prove that they belong in the top echelon of the South Mac 8. So it'll be a real interesting game to see here. Uh, obviously, you lean towards Catholic given their tradition and what they've done, you know, and they deserve that respect. But Barry's going to come in with a chip on their shoulder to prove themselves. And they've been close. They almost beat Cutperson on the road. Uh, they've knocked off Rocky River, obviously. And, um, you know, they're playing well. They're coming off a big win against West Charlotte as well. So... Big game here in the South Meg 8. You guys go out there, check it out. Uh, let us know on the forums what you think of it. And um, have a good game. Thanks for watching.